Let's go to Active Directory. And if you don't see the app registrations preview uh, tab here, just go into your normal app registrations and click on the purple bar. It should be on your uh, on your tenant now. And eventually this should replace this. And when you click new registration, we'll give it another name. I've already done this. And I, I chose to select accounts in any organizational directory. I, don't, I want to be able to use any of my Microsoft accounts to authenticate the users. And I gave it a redirect of uh, HTTPS localhost port 4200. And it just depends on what you're used to developing with. And this is the application here. I've already registered. I have my app IDs, my tenant and my client ID. I'm trying to film here. I'm trying to film here. <laughs> This is my little corgi. Say hi, Daisy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she doesn't like to code. <laughs> so I have my uh, client ID and my tenant ID. And when I go into authentication, I can supply that redirect URI here as well. So I'm in authentication and you can supply a redirect URI here as well. If you scroll down to advanced settings, make sure the checkbox for access tokens is enabled, is checked, uh, and the ID tokens is checked. The new Microsoft Authentication Library, the MSAL, in my test, it always always failed until I had selected both of these checkboxes. I don't know why. I will uh, read about that a little bit later. Just make sure those are uh, both checked. And if you go into application API uh, permissions, I've already given my app permissions. And what you would do is go to click uh, Add Permission. And I chose Microsoft Graph. There are a lot of permission sets here that we can use, but I need the Microsoft Graph for right now. And I chose delegated permissions. That way the user can consent to giving the application uh, access. And here are all the permission sets. And we need files. Uh, dot read dot all so that we can read all the files in the OneDrive document folder well that so we can interact with an individual file it's my understanding in order to get access to the document folder itself we need well let me back up <laughs> my dog's uh She's a little itchy right now, so she's rolling around and she's hitting the door out there. Um, so where was I? Yes. If you'll notice in the permission sets, there is no OneDrive permission set. But OneDrive uses SharePoint technology on the back end. So we need the sites permission set and we'll select sites.read.all that way I can read all the site collections I can to read all the items in the site collection and we will click add permission at that point I'm going back to the main part we don't need to worry about grant consent that is uh, for administrators to give the application permission on behalf of all the users in the organization I don't want to do that right now um, because I'm accessing the, the individual files that are owned by the current user. 
I want them to be able to give consent. And that's really all you need to do for registering the application. And then we'll use the client or app ID along with the directory slash tenant ID to um, authenticate the user to Active Directory in our Angular application in the next video. And I thank you for watching this video and have a great day.